An ultramodern hospital in the heart of Benin City, capital of Edo State, built and equipped in 2016 by Comrade Adam Sushomole, then Governor of Edo State. Commissioned by His Excellency President Mamadou Buhari. I thank you very much. I thank you very much. Oshomole decided to build a five-star Benin Central Hospital when he discovered that the old Benin Central Hospital had no accident and emergency center. He was particularly shocked after the alleged assassination of his principal private secretary, Comrade Olaiton Yerinde. The former governor decided to build a state-of-the-art accident and emergency ward section to provide quality health services to the people of the state and the South-South. Public health care facilities should not be inferior to private healthcare facilities and that we must begin to think big and think clearly about our future. When we travel to Europe and America for those who choose to do so to visit hospitals, we are all happy with what we see and yet we come back home and build a poor imitation of what we see abroad. He contracted a reputable contractor, Vamed, one of the best providers of hospital equipment in the world, to equip the hospital. The contract was awarded to Vamed Niger Limited in December 2015 for supply of medical equipment and furniture to the 200-bed New Trauma Hospital. 75% was paid to facilitate a speedy delivery due to the dollar situation. Delivery became difficult, hence the delay. I'm sure you all are aware we had this forest exchange, so this also affected the, uh, the shipments and the order of these items due to the cost. So it lingered for months, months, and uh, we were able to scale through it. Um, in the middle of uh, 2017, we started having this equipment coming down to, to the site. So installation started and uh, we were able to ascertain 75% uh, uh, um, delivering of all these items which are all fully installed, tested and working. Just to look through, um, to help the doctor to look through the patient's eyes, especially when the patient uh, has a, a very low uh, respiratory system okay so this can also get the doctor too so depend on which procedure you want okay to go up or go down this machine has procedure for you to do a CPAP However, the equipments were supplied as agreed. All that was remaining was waiting for personnel for training and the contractor wrote a memo to the state government to take up the responsibility under the administration of Governor Godwin Obaseki. I've written several minutes to Edo State Ministry of Health, you know, giving us a list of personnel 
for various equipment that requires training. Several memos have been written to them and uh, that's where we, we stand till now. This facility in the Five Star Hospital is geared towards changing the landscape of the Asian city when put to use. So in the building, it was uh, meant for 200 bed capacity. We have uh, um, in the building, you have two ambulance bays, two minor theater, and then you have urgent and acute ward. And uh, in that same ground floor, you have the diagnostic department where you have uh, the X-ray machine, the mobile uh, X-ray machine, the 4D ultrasound machine, all fully installed on the ECG machine. We also have uh, the ICU well equipped with uh, uh, patient monitors. And then we have uh, the special uh, hydraulic uh, bed that has rainbow mattresses, especially for patients who are unconscious. And then we also have uh, portable ventilator machine should in case if there needs to be if a patient needs to be transported you know to another hospital for special uh, examination we have the mobile x-ray that we also supplied the equipment here a ward class even president muhammad buhari attested to the state of the art facility and the impact it will have on the health of the citizens knowing him as we do even if he builds the government house, he will spend most of the time outside it. So he may as well, it's good he as well built uh, the hospital where people will keep on praying for him up to the end of his life. I'm very impressed with his work and the way he told us how he came about it. I think uh, this is the best way and the best thing he can do for the people here. In this hospital, there's an intensive care unit fully equipped to handle emergencies. There are two minor and major theater equipment for surgeries. The wards are equipped with standard beds. There are functional x-ray machines, breast cancer diagnosis machine, orthopedic beds, power generating sets ranging from 250 to 350 kVA. What more does an ultra-modern hospital need to function optimally? And uh, on the ground floor, we also have the ward block, which also consists of patients who have been attended to um, in the trauma center. That's the minor theater, depending on uh, how their case looks like. So they move them to the ground floor where these patients also have their own bed fully installed in those wards. We have a uh, first floor, second floor, third floor. All of them are fully equipped with special beds. On the first floor, we have a mammo machine for breast cancer, also fully uh, equipped. And the biopsy can also be done on it. 
Then we also have uh, the general theatre. And then we have the orthopedic ward. We have the recovery room. We also have the CSSD, where items need to be sterilized before a doctor can uh, proceed the uh, operation. The contractor, Vermed Engineering Nigeria Limited, have fulfilled its contractual agreement with the Edo State Government by ensuring that all equipment required for the takeoff of the hospital were supplied. You have the mammography room here. With this machine, you can do an end detector of breast cancer. Okay, I will power it on, demonstrate to you. Well, uh, I'm not using anybody's breath. <laughs> <laughs> I said we have to there. So, so, so this machine is also being equipped with with a UPS. Okay, once there is power surge. The machine is not being affected, so this protects the machine from power surge. Okay, so so once the system comes on, don't be scared. We have some uh, slides on it. Yeah. So this is actually uh, the screen cassette. Depending how large the breast is, I will show you other accessories. Okay. Depending on the height of the picture there, so this, if it's a small girl with this height, then you know we have the dwarfs who are very small too. It's also, they are also being considered too. Okay? So, gentlemen, for you to do the exposure you can see the lesion now you can see the lesion of the light so the breast must be positioned in this column because of this compressor so this will have to do the compress okay i use this to compress and i have a value that is actually being transmitted here on the ground in as much as i will this will actually do the compress it will have to compress this lesion okay once it's being compressed Automatically, the light guides you. If it's a bigger breast, then it means you have to remove this one. Okay? I want to demonstrate how this cuts the skin of a patient. But I have to do this, you have to give me a few uh, minutes. I have to prepare what I will use. Okay, I should not bother myself. Because I really want to show you this to, to tell the people of that these garments are functional like they are functional. Okay, not just to snap them or whatever. So all these machines are all functional. Okay? You have the anesthetic machine here. You cannot do an operation without an anesthetic machine. I will show you the rooms where I have gone to lock the instrument because 
But so when the users are here, they can hand it over to them, they can now lock it. So the surgical units are here. So from here, it leads the doctor to the main theater. So the doctor comes in here, he has his arms crawl, from here he gets the wax uh, solution, he washes his arm, he gets his arm washed, he also has the nail brush, he gets his finger cleaned, on the water clean everywhere, okay, and then he walks into the theater. We have the hash collector from here, CSSU, this one is TSSU, okay, this is for theater, uh, sterilization stellar unit. Now this is dedicated for theater. So items that come through this position are sterile units. Items that go through that position are dirty items. I will take you to the room. The reason why we all came in is because there's no issues. So we will get the place sterile. So this is where the doctor hangs all the shoe racks they use. Okay. All these machines are, have been installed, they are all working, tested, and the state we are now is we are waiting for the Edo State Ministry of Health to give us the accurate personnel who we can then schedule training for and then kick start the hospital. The people of Adif State are now waiting patiently for the takeover of the five-star Benin Central Hospital constructed under former Governor Adams Oshomole. This documentary has become necessary to put paid to all the mischief, distortions, outright falsehood that is being pushed by my political, by, by the opposition. Uh, in the state and even beyond, suggesting that I misled Mr. President to commission a beautiful uh, hospital, which I call a five-star hospital, uh, without any equipment inside. This documentary is an attempt to give the lie to all those who have continued to push this falsehood. We build this five-star hospital as part of my own contribution as governor to put paid to medical tourism and in recognition of the fact that the building alone does not provide treatment at the time i left office we had paid 75 percent of the total cost of all the equipment required to run the hospital i recognize as a as a public officer I have a duty to explain my stewardship. I'm happy that the good people of Edo State are my witnesses with regards to my contribution to the growth and development of the state and the unprecedented reception which was organized in my honor by the highly respected, revered royal father or the second, in which he acknowledged my outstanding contribution to the growth and development of the state, for me is a fitty testimony to my stewardship. I believe, as I, as I repeatedly said while I was in office, IMAC is always superior to AMAC. And this video is an IMAC of the quality of equipment that we paid for and have been delivered and installed in the new central hospital that God used me and my colleagues in government at that time to construct for the use of the members, for the use of people of Edo State and indeed all Nigerians who may have one region or the other to seek medical services. This will be my last response to all the all the propaganda, lies, petitions here and there, I believe this documentary has settled all the questions. For those who are still in doubt, I remind them that a hospital is not a security zone, it's not a military zone. It can be open on request for all those who wishes to confirm 
that what is on this video reflect in reality what is inside the new central hospital that was built under my administration. I thank you for viewing and I hope that you will share this information with your friends, your neighbors and your associates. Thank you and God bless.